today I wanted to talk about a subject that's near and dear to everyone's hearts, especially as we have the new uh, consoles coming fast along the horizon later this year, and that is fanboys. You know the topic, you've heard the topic plenty of times in threads, on message boards, comments on YouTube, you've either called somebody a fanboy or you've been called a fanboy. Now this term has been around for years, decades even, as long as there have been console wars, but especially obviously since people started using the internet more. But it comes to the point of being completely blown out of proportion nowadays when you have so many things going on and so much competition going on between hardware and software manufacturers specifically in the gaming industry even though the term fanboy obviously does not apply just to gaming it has a lot to do with gaming so before I elaborate any more on I'm gonna give you a little bit of a definition of fanboy according to our friends at Urban Dictionary. A fanboy is an extreme fan or follower of a particular medium or concept, whether it be sports, television, film directors, video games, which is the most common usage, etc. Fanboys are known for a complete lack of objectivity in relation to their preferred focus. They usually argue with circular logic that they refuse to acknowledge. Arguments or debates with fanboys are usually futile and useless. And every flaw of the object of their affection is spun into semi-virtues while everything else is blown to comedic, complementary proportions. Fanboys are most notably known for using the phrase subject X equals best ever or subject X is better than or greater than using the greater than sign subject Y or Z or A or B. However, while people only really say that as hyperbole, fanboys truly believe it. They troll the internet to spread the gospel as far and wide as possible to anyone who is willing to listen, even if they don't really want to listen. And they insult or chastise others for using public forums to express any form of objective opinion, no matter how constructive or respectful that opinion may be against whatever it is that they're for. Go ahead and admit that something is a good movie or game or etc. This fact and anything else will be promptly ignored by fanboys in favor of cherry picking the negative and beating you over the head with it. <clears throat> they also tend to resort to petty annoyance replies when backed against the wall, usually grammar attacks or non-replies such as Final Fantasy 7 is the best RPG ever, Ocarina of Time is the best game ever, Linux is the best OS ever, Xbox is the best console ever, Dragon Ball Z is the best show ever, Xbox One is the best game console ever. It's gonna beat the PlayStation 3. Hello, 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 hello. You get the idea. Sad thing is, fanboys don't realize that these companies that fuel their passion don't really give a damn about them. To me, defending a multinational corporation like your own family is ridiculous. These organizations don't come to your house and help you when you're sick. They don't help you move, they don't drive you to the airport, they don't do your homework, they don't cook your food, they don't wash your car, they don't do jack diddly for you. 
They don't support you in any way. None. They're businesses, companies, not friends. They're only out for one thing. Money, greenbacks, yours. And they'll take you for however much it is that you're willing to pay for them, regardless of your opinion of them. As soon as you can no longer buy their products, you disappear. You're not even a factor to them. You're just a number. As a matter of fact, even if you can still buy their products, you're still just a number. And even in the case of, say, Sony, who has acknowledged their fan base a whole hell of a lot more than Microsoft has over the course of the past few months regarding their next-gen console, Sony is still a multi-million dollar electronics multimedia and entertainment company they really don't give a crap whether you think that the Sony PlayStation 4 is better than the Xbox one what they're banking on is you buying the game you buying the console you buying everything that has to do with that console and using it that's it your opinion is irrelevant to them and your opinion is only relevant to yourself because it ain't relevant to anybody else bottom line fanboys are arrogant and they go into outbursts every time something they like is questioned they usually accuse others of being fanboys in doing so that's the part that really blows my mind you insult something a fanboy likes and they'll spam your computer up and try to insult something that you like in direct retaliation whether it's something on topic or off topic just by basically blowing you off saying F you F off piss off whatever it is just to form or incite some form of negative response from you for your opinion Complete ignorance and total stupidity is the name of the game for your typical fanboy. Bottom line. They're just absolutely insane. And that gets magnified now with these new consoles coming out because it's just all about fanboyism right now and about how no matter how many stories come up about one thing being done and another thing being undone and then another thing being redone and so on and so forth that the fanboyism is just like exploding right now to this point of complete and total chaos I mean it's been bad before but nowadays anytime you see a video pop up on YouTube about anything regarding the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, Battlefield, Call of Duty, those are pretty much the two main rivalries as far as console and game goes. It instantly gets into the argument of you're a fanboy for this and you're a fanboy for that. And, Blah, blah 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 tit for tat blow for blow like uh, a freaking high school or junior high school recess now I tend to uh, stay away from those type of conversations but every once in a while I have to uh, put people in their places with just straight up facts about things that truly show just how out of touch a fanboy is to reality. And a lot of times, Microsoft is at the brunt of those specific conversations. Because, let's face it, Microsoft is as crooked as an uncrooked company can be. I mean, it's bad enough that they pretty much 
monopolized the computer market for decades basically making it impossible for any other company even if they wanted to to try to make a market out of personal computers and then they try to do the same thing with console games with this whole Xbox One fiasco and I can lay out facts and figures and numbers to back up everything that I have to say but an Xbox fanboy would just basically blow all that off and say oh so then you're a PlayStation fanboy you're a Sony fanboy and you're just trying to beat down Microsoft because you hate it and everything stop I beat down Microsoft because they're a messed up company and they're out of touch with their consumers and have been out of touch with their consumers realistically since Windows 90 freaking 5 that's the reason why I hate on Microsoft not because of the Xbox not because of the Xbox 360 and not because of the Xbox One even though those do have something to do with the conversation it has nothing to do with my preference towards Sony products the PlayStation or Macintosh, Apple, any other companies that are in retail competition with Microsoft. It has something and everything to do however with the fact that Microsoft are cash grabbing money grubbing bastards and Microsoft fanboys just blatantly and blindly toss their dollars at this company year in and year out without any clue of what it is that they're actually funding, supporting, and basically jumping in front of bullets for. You just don't get it. And the same thing can be said for Sony fanboys who do the same thing. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen, and the more you know, the more it is that you open yourself up to finding out the more informed that you can be. And that's why I say to myself, and I say to anybody who ever accuses me of fanboyism, that <laughs> I'm not a fanboy. I'm an educated consumer. And that is the difference. And that is the one thing that separates fanboys from fans. I'm a fan, because I know the deal. I know what's going on, because I pay attention to what's going on across the board not just in my own little circle and that's all that is that I have to say about that so what is it that you have to say about it let's find out got anything to share leave it in the comment section below and of course stay tuned for more gaming goodness news rumors commentary let's plays and all the rest of that stuff that I do later until then, this is 3X, and I'm out. See ya.